What is going on? Where's my model? Hello? The hell? What is what is happening? <laughs> Restarts my VTube studio. How you go? Hi your hope. Okay. Uh <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Interesting. I have to I'm relaunching VTube Studio. Ghost mode. Incoming, incoming, eyes open. Background. Oh my god, thank you for the gift sub to your home. Oh my god. Thank you, Hugo. They have given 998 gift subs in the channel. Oh, gift subs work again. Okay, uh, what's up guys? <laughs> kind of, kind of crazy. Anyway, um... Yeah. Hi everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today we were playing, um, Deep Woken. I was gonna actually progress a new build. Um, I was gonna progress a new build, but, uh... Remember last week when I said that I was going to do that dungeon? Remember I was doing that dungeon on like Friday? Um, and with the whole stealth thing and then I, I died. I wiped and I was going to create a new build and I created that new build on stream but I didn't complete it and then I said I was going to do it over the weekend. You guys remember that? Why is my mouth not opening? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hello, 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 hello. There we go. Oh, something's something's happening. Thank you for the 600 follower. Congrats. You are one of them. You are the 600th. <laughs> yeah, so um, last week on Friday, I progressed a Deep Oaken, like PvE build so that I could complete the trial, the dungeon for the endgame loot. And um, I... I guess I forgot to update yesterday, but um, so I, what happened on Friday was I died permanently. I had to delete my character and then I remade the build, but a little bit better. And um, I did it, attempted it again on Saturday. So Saturday I finished the build and then I ran by myself, you know, on my own free time. And what happened, ended up happening was I got uh, this one sec. It was actually kind of crazy. This was in the morning of. Let me open this. Burp. I got this. Crypt Blade. Oops. The 601 didn't even realize I wasn't following you until you posted that. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah, so this is a Crypt Blade three stars. So Crypt Blade is one of the rarest items in the game. What probably I would say top three rarest singular items in the game. Hello, Honey Dewey. And the Minecraft piggies. Yeah, I'm feeding the pigs currently. <laughs> so this Cripplade is like top, definitely top five rarest items in the game, right? And I got a three star version of it, which is actually insanely rare as well. And the fact is, I didn't even get to wave 50 to get this. I got to wave 20 out of 50 in order to get this loot, which was insane. To put this into context, I've been playing this game for like a year straight, right? I've been playing this game for a year straight, and I've never gotten this item. I've been playing like on and off for two years, but um, pretty much a year straight I've been playing this game and never had this item drop. And the reason is that this item is only really dropped uh semi consistently on um in a mode that is required five players to do and i don't have five friends or four friends and myself <laughs> so it's been pretty much impossible for me to um get this you can get th get it if you like kill some mobs in like in the depths and get really lucky like super 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 lucky with the drops but that's never happened to me no matter how much I farm there. So um, yeah, I don't have four friends. And this is my only chance. The only reason I was doing this dungeon was because I wanted this item. Um, this was my only chance of getting it. Because it was finally something I could solo. Potentially solo. <laughs> and I managed to get it on wave 20. In three star ver version at that. 
yeah, finally good luck. This was on the 10th. So this is Lunar New Year, by the way. So I was like, damn, we are starting off this Lunar New Year on a good note. We got a Crypt Blade. But you know how I mentioned that this is like a top five rare item? Um, I would say like there is one item that is more rare than this. And it is called Astral. It is an item called Astral. Now, let me tell you the story of Astral. Astral is an enchantment in Deep Woken, right? It is an enchantment that is only given, only ever given, if you come across an Astral Meteor event. A star, I, don't, I forgot what it's called. It's called like a Stardust event, where a meteor falls from the sky in front of you, and then this purple golem spawns and you have to kill this golem in order to get an ultimate ability which is the little meteor interacting with the ultimate ability and the mob itself drops an enchantment that makes it so that you do 20 percent um your attacks do 20 percent additional damage to uh monsters so this is probably like one of one of the best um enchantments for pve in the game and it's extremely rare extremely yeah 20 percent. you know it's actually not even like the best arguably it's only up for debate how like if it's the best enchantment for pve but everyone knows it's solid and it's really rare to get okay i can't emphasize how rare it is it's like a probably less than 0.1 percent chance for it to happen to you it has to happen to you everyone in this like the vicinity sees it and so they can all come and then it's like whoever kills it picks it up and then gets it or whatever right so this let me tell you the story of how this happened this was like around midnight of uh the 10th so on saturday and i was just casually progressing my build which i'll showcase on stream like later um just just you know progressing it it took a while and um what ha ended up happening was i had to afk right so i afk'd inside um my guild base and what happens is that Sometimes I take a bounty on someone using a teleporter. So I teleport to someone that I am trying to assassinate, right? I have a bounty on them. And um, if they escape, then I get teleported out back to my spawn instead of um, staying around, sticking around. But I uh, teleported to a player, but I didn't actually want to kill them. I just wanted to be in the area. So I AFK to my guild base for some time uh, just because I didn't like really want to fight. But I got a little impatient. So I took a step outside my guild base to see what like to see what was going on, you know, and I was hanging off of this cliff because I was getting chased by a bunch of monsters. So I was sitting on a cliff and on the edge of the cliff, I could see like purple sky particles like I didn't hear anything or see anything. I just saw little purple particles that I've never seen before uh, coming from below. And I was like, is this? Is this the meteor? And then in that moment, I got teleported out because the person that I was chasing logged out. So I was like, I have no idea if that was astral or not. And you know, this is like, this is a rare event. So anyone can come across it and steal it. And I had my spawn set across the world. So I had to sail there, right? And I don't, like, who knows if it's still going to be there if I teleport. And um, I came up with this genius idea um, to log. Um, I went back to the bounty board and there were no bounties within the area. And even, even if there were bounties within the area, they would probably come across this and steal it, right? So I came up with this genius idea where I logged into my other character, which is this one. And then I looked for um, a server that had someone in the area of this, like, where this event was. And I went to that area and then I logged out on in that area and then went back to the server, this original initial server that I remember the name of, and then came back and it was still there and I was able to get it. And this is like a top, top three rarest items in the game. Okay. And this happened to me the same day that I got the other Crypt Blade. It was like just two top five rare items in one day is crazy. Honestly, like, it's not that rare because, um, to put, to give it some fairness, in order to get this event to happen, 
there is a way that people found to grind it. So a way to grind this is that you sail into the sea and the sea is like pretty much infinite. It constantly like TPs you around. So you will like always be in the sea. But every three chunks, it spawns. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> every three chunks, it four spawns a mob or an event. And you have a chance of spawning. There's only like four events that could possibly spawn in the deep sea. And this is one of them. So you can just sail infinitely and grind. Look, wait for this thing to come. And I remember seeing reading a report or like a, a post from someone who said they sailed for 36 hours before they saw one straight 36 hours straight and i was like there's no way in hell i am doing this because <laughs> you it's not like free afk either you're going to be attacked by the other three events and all the other mobs so you can't like just afk forever you know you actually have to be conscious and you have to keep your food hunger up you have to make sure your boat is repaired and etc it's like really annoying so it's technically really grindable but so is everything but yeah, I got really lucky in one day. So uh, yeah, that's some context there. And then what ended up proceeding to happen was uh, when I got the Crypt Blade build, I wiped again. So you guys remember how I died? I died out on like wave 38 on Friday, the Friday stream. And then I made a new character. And then I went, took that new character down to the depths. And I felt like it was doing way more damage, right? I had it a little bit more damage and less survivability. That what ended up happening was I died on wave 38 again for um, the PvE dungeon build. So I, I lost two builds. Now I have no build anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, so the guy I watched that initially gave created the strat of stealth released a new video last night. So I'm going to actually progress that build and we're going to try attempt to attempt again to solo this thing to wave 50. So that's what's happening with Deep Oaken. Anyway, back to Minecraft. I I found this. I kind of found the strat of feeding these pigs. I just got to go left and right, and then as they're turning, <laughs> I can like feed them. It's like not super consistent, but actually, I get it. Uh, I get I can just feed some stuff. It's like pretty cope. So no blade or attachment or enchantment. Oh, no, I kept it. I kept some stuff and sent it to my other characters, but it's a different build now a little bit. So anyway, how are these pigs doing? We have plenty of pigs here. I'm going to start lagging eventually. I'm just going to feed all of these pigs. We're going to occasionally come back to this um, in the middle of stream. But for now, we are just going to be feeding all these little piggies. We need a lot of them. We need lo lots of lots of gold. I mean, honestly, the pigs in this pen are just for food. I thought I was lost during the third wipe. <laughs> the third wipe. It's like a <laughs> an event in history. Yeah, it was not lost. Uh, I have the ability to pass down items. So, um, the important stuff I pass down. It costs, like, echoes, which is, like, currency you get at the end of the game, depending on, like, what achievements you got. So, uh, I did plenty of that. I, I can easily grind those, so I can pass down whatever I want. Up to four items per life. For my next characters. Yeah, so, um, for context, also, if you guys missed the last stream, we had this little pig breeder, um... What happens is that the pigs are bred in this area. The little baby pigs, if I can feed one. If I can maybe... There we go. The little pigs breed up here. And then the, the baby pigs are small enough to fit through into this water stream. And they go into this water stream and they eventually get into this scaffolding and climb up naturally. Eventually. There we go. And then they come up here and then they grow up. And become big pigs. I can't even tell if these are like all big pigs. So um, the reason for that is that eventually we're going to get a little copper rod right here. We're going to get a copper rod. Uh, Lightning is going to strike it. And the pigs are going to be close enough in vicinity to become uh, zombie pigmen. 
And then the zombie pigments I will kill for gold. So we can make golden apples for villagers. Curing vill villagers. So that's the plan for now. But uh, it's going to take a while. Because we need a lot, a lot of gold. We need 16 gold ingots. Um, that's probably easily over like 500 pigs, zombie pigmen. If I'm unlucky, I think. About, about average, I would say, is maybe... Or actually, maybe, maybe close to a thousand pigs killed before I get the zombie pigmen. Or the, the gold ingots, sorry. Yeah. So, we're gonna need a lot. Right now, I can sort of get a feel of how many we have. It looks like we have a maybe 200 in there. Not all fully grown. A thousand is a little much though. Yeah, but I, I need, I don't have a looting sword, so. Um, I have no guarantee that it's gonna drop ingots. So I had the end of my test run, I had like maybe like, maybe like 300 ish and uh, with a looting three sword and it drops it dropped ingots but i don't have ingots or a looting three sword in this right here so um i i don't have like a good chance of dropping ingots as well as gold, the gold nuggets the gold nuggets are like pretty guaranteed to drop like maybe like four or five ish ops right and then the gold ingot is like extra on top of that and then some pigs can drop ingots and nuggets at the same time. And the looting three, like, you know, makes that better. You only need 144 nuggets. That's true. I actually don't know what the drop rate of um, nuggets is. I feel like I don't get that much. Also, I need to refill my carrots eventually. Alright, so, we go to Minecraft, I mean, sorry, not Minecraft, we go to Deep Booking. go to our little Felinor fella, let's go to a California server, we can also do something interesting now, which is uh, attempt the new trial as well. So, they added a, an easy, quote-unquote, easy mode for beginners in the new trial. We're gonna see if we can use, do it. Looting messy up because it caused pigment to drop their swords. That's fair. I mean, the sword drop rate is actually pretty good. Okay, let's see. So this is going to be pretty tough, I think. Right now, we need um, Scrapper, Steadfast. We go simple. Scrapper, Steadfast. Origin, Castle Light. Core attributes is... I think we just go Charisma first. Charisma into f Agility. Then we're gonna go 25 charisma, 25. Actually, no, we have to go into. We're going into iron sink first. Actually, no. Hold on, let me look through all the talents. Okay. Let's figure out how I'm going to do this, approach this build. There are a lot of talents we need before we leave, before we do our Shrine of Order. So we have to, we have to min-max our stats.
Wait. <laughs> Apparently this build got nerfed already. Supposedly? You still gonna build it? Yeah, it apparently got the hotfix nerfed. Hmm. Apparently the monsters automatically aggro now onto players when spawning. So the strat of like aggroing one at a time is a uh... I need to see this guy's updates. Maybe, maybe we can't, shouldn't go with this build. <laughs> Wait, I can't believe, yeah. Is soloing even possible now? I don't know if soloing is even possible anymore. Someone's got to cook up like a really tanky build. I need this guy to have like a Twitter or Discord. Alright, interesting. Maybe we don't go this build then. I can't believe they nerfed it. I was planning. I felt like they were going to nerf it again. Like there's a chance that they nerfed it again. Not this hard and not this soon. I really thought that. Um, they're going to patch it on Friday at, at the latest or earliest. They nerfed it in a day. It put when I watched it last night, it was posted like I think it was posted like 24 hours ago. Let me check the Discord. Wow, I can't believe they patched it already. I have tried. Hey, if you guys if you guys want to progress together, I'm I'm down. We can have a freshie squad. <laughs> That's what the support build is for. I guess before we do that, I can show you guys my support. My quote unquote support build. It's not really support build, but I finished my salt. My, um, uh, oh, I guess I never showed it because I did it on this past weekend. But I spent like three good days making this build over here. Even basic bandits can beat me. Nay, hey, don't worry. We all start like that. When I first started, I could not kill a basic bandit for the life of me. I gotta remember it to learn the map. I had to remember the map. The thing is that uh, we do have ping, which is the worst part. 
with playing um, with other people. Check out the build. Honestly, when I was making this build, a lot of people just came up to me and it was like, and they were actually like, damn, you look so sick. <laughs> Cause this is my outfit before when I was just like progressing the build. Oh, not the miner's hat. Um, let me get a fire down. This is what I look like before. Why am I so laggy right now? Where is it? This is my outfit. <laughs> Real grinder costume. Yeah. I like literally had so many people come up to me. It was like, whoa, is that the new oath? Like, uh, like you look sick. And I'm like, thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a, I'm still missing a hat. Or like, well, I need a, some goggles instead of this eye patch. But honestly, the eye patch kind of goes hard too. But uh, this is my build, so yeah, it's complete. It's a it's an RP build of one of the characters in the game, who's based off of like monster mantras. Is there a build which I can have to I can not have to rely on parrying? I have a hard time using WASD. Uh, I mean parrying is like a really important aspect of the game. But if you do a PVE build, I think you should focus on playing PVE. And uh, PVE is a lot of just like stat checking. Honestly, at some point. I think you do, in order to progress the early game PvE, you will have to learn how to parry. Um, which is done through the trial of one. Alright, let me let me showcase this build a little bit. Oh wait, it's not reset. This time of conflict. I only have one skull remaining. Okay, well anyway. I was planning on progressing a different build anyway today, so I guess we're going back to that plan until uh, this guy cooks up another way to solo. <laughs> um, what was it? This one. This build is based off of trying to kill one of the bosses in less than 15 seconds. Hello, Mitsue. Where am I? Whose body is that? My ping is kind of bad. Weird. I'm gonna close my close some stuff. Crazy burst build? Yeah. It's intended to pair it to one shot. So, um... I have a lot of ping. I don't know. I have 200 ping in California. This is weird. I'm gonna grab this sword out of my deposit box. I don't need this but this just makes my early game better i have an enchantment called providence thorns and it uh basically what it does is it does a per like a percentage of the enemy's health every time i parry them so it's it's really good for early game because i can like parry everything but you know i do zero damage otherwise wait did i turn in this book or no Oh, okay, I did it. Is that a high number? The percentage? Uh yeah, it's a pretty decent amount. One of the one of the endgame bosses, uh, it's called Prima Don. It's like a gorilla guy, big king gorilla. Um You parry him a lot, so this is like the best enchantment to fight him. I could probably solo him using just this and like no other items. But I honestly I don't fight that boss often, so I, I actually can't solo it. <laughs> Oh, the ping? Oh. Yeah. Three, 200 does a lot. Okay, we're gonna do this. 
So let's see. I have to go open the guide. This person who made this video is like, <laughs> the way they made the video is so bad. Let me see. Uh, ferryman speed run build. I think we go to 20 first. We're going to go to 20 Gale Breath and then everything else will be whatever. Hello, Dista. The Ferryman spawns here too? No, it doesn't. But this is the... This build is designed to kill the Ferryman as fast as possible. So, I'm trying to accommodate for it. This is not spawn here. Harry. Oh, I should do my, my guide here. This one is honestly, I like to look at the top right. Um, there's three speeds of the parry check. Um, each time, I like to look at this thing at the top right, and then whenever I see the orb like reach like right here, I hold F. But it obviously d depends on your uh, reaction time. But um, when I see the orb, this white orb like usually reach this area, I you can hold F, and then you block that wave of shots. There's three different speeds though. So the first speed is uh, you just hold F whenever you see it. The second speed, you also hold F whenever you see it, but you have to let go and then release again. Um, when you see the next one. Usually if you hold, it, it'll block like almost all of it. Um, all of that shot. You don't even have to hold for that long. And then the third wave is the easiest actually. You just spam F as fast as you can. So, it's like really, that one's really easy. It definitely is practice of learning the timing. So we're going to lock this for now. Oh. So for the Megalodon, he has like two attacks, really. I'll just, I can show you how to parry. Oh, I just killed him with my weapon, with my enchant. <laughs> I don't even have time to like explain the mobs. They just die so fast. Kind of laggy. I don't know. What's going on today? All right, next up is the Golem. Trying to explain all of the all of the shit. Let me see what talents I need. I should just go fifty. I don't think we need any of this, so we will go boot skipper. Blood iron. Just pick everything that has HP. Because none of this is that good. Tornado. Tornado is super good. It's like one of the best PvE mantras. It does a million damage if you just activate it. So we're just going to burn. We're also going to burn the ones that are useless. So it doesn't show up again. We have Tornado now. Oh shoot. I was not supposed to get that. Whatever. Force of habit. So next to the golem, he has like four attacks. So he has oh, he has the laser, which is probably one of the scariest attacks. It does a lot of damage. You have to get used to um listening to the sound. This is a very sound based game, or I like to use sound cues to dodge everything. Oh my god, <laughs> sound cues. 
So whenever you hear the thing charge, uh, if you have really good reaction time, you can dodge whenever you hear the sound of the beam stop. And then um, his other attack is just the uh, the swinging one. So this swinging one, you don't have to parry it. You can parry it if you are good enough. And uh, if you parry it, you get a lot of stat. But um, if you like to face tank and like stat check it, you can spam parry, like hold F whenever he's attacking. And then also spam left click as well. And then you'll like actually get some swipes in as well. So it's actually pretty good. So he just died because of this enchantment. It's actually broken. <laughs> Hi, Clover. <laughs> Freaking the knocking when I said this is a sound gate based game. I'm doing my deep woken tutorial. Even though I do a little bit too much damage right now. To actually give a good tutorial. Next up is Thresher. Um, Thresher is also easy as well. Or actually... He's your first, like, one that you start parrying a lot. The first mob that you actually have to, like, learn how to parry. So, um, he has four attacks. This is the dive, uh, the tunnel. And that's dodged by pressing Q. Literally dodging whenever you see the li little red particles. So, I wait. See the red particles? You dodge. It doesn't matter how far they are, are from you or how close they are. As long as you see the red particles and you dodge when you see it, um, you will like, pretty much dodge it every single time. So you waiting, dodge, and you like do less damage. Damn, I do too much. <laughs> um, next attacks, he has two swipes. He has a tail. Um, I like to call them one, two, three, right? So he has um attacks. One does one attack. One does two swipes, and then the other one does three swipes. Um, the the one swipe's the most dangerous, I think, because it's a posture break move, which means if you don't parry it correctly, it'll. Break your ar your guard and then knock you over. Uh, so let's see what he does now. So that's the two swipes. And um, you just have to get the timing down. If you remember a rhythm for it. So there's like... The tail swipe is like one. The bite is three. And then the swipe is two. One. Oh. He just died. <laughs> Not a good... <laughs> I think the next time I do this, I have to not take this enchantment because they literally die before I can even show anything. I just show one parry trade and it's over. Game is so easy, guys. Okay, let's see. All of this is pretty garbage, so I'll just take the HP. Um... Deal more damage to larger foes. This is good because it it's like PVE. You know, all monsters are larger than you. Uh, more HP when downing enemies, sure. So I was not supposed to take health. I was supposed to take um, monster scaling. Because this is a, a mage build. It's all magic based. I'm going to get zero of my weapon stat. Next up is the angel. Okay, the angel is actually incredibly hard. They buff the NPC AI to be like really human like. They like dodge and kite now. It's I don't know. I like this this single trial, I guess um I don't know what to call it. Phase of the trial is the hardest of the entire thing now. And um yeah, all I can tell you is parry and space correctly. You have to have really good reaction time to notice it's... They faint too, which means they cancel their attacks. This enchantment's actually broken. I've got it. I've died to this before, like recently. Like... <laughs> it also doesn't help that Spear is actually a really like fast attacking um, weapon too. Yeah, I can't help you for this one. He just died. Like, doing this trial used to be so free up until they changed this mob. Next up is the Enforcer. And the Enforcer, 
used to be the hardest one, but now it's actually pretty easy. Um, as long as you learn how to parry trade. I think parry trading is something... Once you learn it, you'll be good at it. For you'll you can like do fight ninety percent of mobs. The only mobs that you probably can't fight is like light weapon and humanoid NPCs. Just to sh like not to just strike better. <laughs> well, yeah, you that one you actually have to fight like a human. <laughs> so they they change everything so up so much. It's like they have no set pattern. I feel like it's like really difficult now. <laughs> but then forcer is easier. It's a more it's more rhythmic, I suppose. Okay, all of this is not great. Taunt, reinforce, wind passage. I don't think I need any of these, so I'm just going to burn them all. I'm gonna reroll this for something. Nice. Did need that. Okay, this is a parry trade. So parry trading is just parry, left click. Parry. Okay. This one's fading a lot. Parry, left click, parry. Oh, I missed. <laughs> parry, left click. 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 Parry, Parry, left click. You just do it over and over. The thing is, you, ha you have to watch out for is that um, some enforcers have really good, like, tend to faint a lot. And um, fainting is definitely the thing that will get you. Uh, how you faint in this game is you strike. So if you press left click, you can strike. But uh, if you press left click and then right click at the same time or at some point during the hit, it'll cancel the move. Um, it's very useful in PvP. I never faint because I always forget to. And I feel like I always get hit when I'm fainting. <laughs> but when other people faint me, they're like gods. <laughs> so, um, yeah. NPC, like humanoid mobs, can faint moves. So that enforcer is pretty dangerous when he faints. But um, if he faints, you have to be ready to dodge. So a good way to dodge is um by pressing Q, right? Q is to dodge. Is there a cost of fainting? There's no cost. There's, you just have cooldown. On painting, but you can strike immediately after. Um, so what happens when an NPC faints you is uh you usually have time if you have good reaction time. When he you hear the faint sound or see them faint, you can just dodge um early enough. But if you have like less than ideal reaction time, you can also do a roll cancel. So roll cancel is achieved the same way you do a faint. So faint is left click and then right click to cancel it. And for roll canceling, it's the same thing. You press roll and then you press right click. So you, it looks like this. And you have iframes during this time. It does like a little slide. And uh, it's actually really useful against NPC mobs like that. Because you get the iframes and you dodge the attack, but um, there's less end lag. So you can strike immediately after if you wanted to. So that's how I save myself when I um, get caught by a faint. You can also do something called mantra canceling, which is everything canceling is just pressing right click. So here's my mantra mantra if I want to use it. And then if I want to do the mantra cancel, I just press it and then press right click. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. Some mantras you can't cancel. Um, usually if it has a wind up, you can't cancel it. Yeah. I guess these ones can't. So, bad example. So, we're going to 50 here. And I think next up is we go to... We go 50 Fortitude. Next is the uh, Sand Golem, which is actually the easiest mob in the game. Trust.
This entire thing's kit, you can dodge by just pressing dodge on the first attack. You hear any sound, you dodge. You see him do anything, you dodge. The swipe is the only... The second swipe is the only thing you can't dodge. Um, unless you, like, do re go really fast or expect it. He only does it sometimes. So sometimes he swipes once without um, swiping twice. Uh... Oh my god, he died in three parries. What? I can't even explain it. But yeah, so you dodge um, once, and then you can usually hit him after. The only thing you have to look out for is sometimes he does a second swipe after um, your first dodge. And you can prepare for that by parrying. So you can do a roll and then a parry to like prepare for that second swipe. Uh, and then you can strike him about like two or two or three times after. Depending on your weapon speed. My one big tip with this game is when you're doing PvE is you never, ever, ever greed for attacks. If you are, like, not confident in killing it. Never, ever greed. If you're using a heavy weapon, you'll get two hits in tops. If you're using a medium weapon, you'll get probably two hits in tops. Three if you're really fast at parrying. Light weapon, you can get, like, three, maybe. But I would say just to be safe, two hits for any weapon ever. Even if your weapon is insanely fast and you're not confident in parrying, only ever go for two hits. Every time I see someone go for a third hit when I'm teaching them how to play, they always get hit and then they, it happens like five times. They go for the third hit, they get hit every single time and then they die. So only ever go for two hits if you're not confident. Why do I only see you live when you're playing Roblox? <laughs> Lulu, this is my life. Hey! Okay, look, look, I play Minecraft too, okay? I play Minecraft too. <laughs> I still don't understand. I'm gonna fail this class. Yeah, I'm doing a Jupoke tutorial. Both? Oh, yeah. Well, right now, I'm feeding these pigs and I'm just waiting for I'm feeding them so I can get a lot of pigs into this little chamber over here. He GGG'd for three days. Oh, that's true. That last week I did get God Gamer Gauntlet for three days and then played Deep Oaken for the rest of it. <laughs> well, I didn't stream Monday. Then Tuesday to Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday to Thursday was God Gamer Gauntlet and then Friday was Deep Oaken again. Roblox. I love Roblox. Should have made it for the whole week, Fred? Yeah, but I beat it, so. <laughs> it's okay. We have a time to beat next time. We do the God Gamer Gauntlet. I have to get a sub one hour run. Yeah, we were playing uh we were playing Roblox. Okay. Anyway, back to back to my my tutorial. Never ever ever greed for the third hit. If I was using a heavy weapon, I would teach you a trick that I would I like doing with heavy weapons, but um I don't have one, so I can't teach it for this time. Something you could do is that uh you have a we have a good timer cooldown in the bottom left now. Um, it tells you when your crit attack is up. And when you're using a heavy weapon, crit attacks are usually insanely good. They almost always posture break an enemy, which lets you get one free hit afterwards. If you get a posture break, it almost always guarantees one free hit on a mob. Um, a humanoid mob. On monsters, posture breaks last way longer, so you can get way more hits in. I'm not sure how many. Um, so just be careful. Just be ready to dodge. But yeah, if you're using a heavy weapon against M like humanoid NPCs, just spam crit off cooldown. It'll almost always hit them and posture break them. Why would we use a medium over a heavy weapon, by the way? Medium weapons are faster. Uh, faster swings mean more damage. <laughs> it depends on PvP. PvP is honestly personal preference. But medium, people like using medium because it has a good balance of posture damage as well as um, regular damage and swing speed. You know, it's just balanced. Light weapon, you like to do if you um, like to spam swipe at people. You know, it's just the normal choice, like the common sense choice. Heavy weapon is if you don't aren't confident on getting many hits in, but when you get a hit in, you want to make it count, you know.
So I'm using a medium weapon right now because Ferryman, um, Ferryman, you can cancel a lot of his attacks by hitting him. So a medium weapon, a, like a heavy weapon, swing speed is like barely fast enough to cancel his attacks. But sometimes a, an attack slips through if you're using a heavy weapon against him. I think that's, or at least I think that's the reason why. All right, next up in the trial, it's the second to last one, is going to be another parry check. This is probably also the easiest one where all you have to do is parry. Spam F. But you have to get the first one down. So as you can see, I'm going to wait for this light. So there's going to be a orb up here. I'm going to wait for the light to reach about right, right here. This is my reaction time speed. I wait for it to look appear right here. And then I start spamming F. Are you going to do benchmarks again? Yeah, maybe. I don't remember when the last time I did it was. And you just spam F. And it's foolproof. Spam F as fast as you can. The times I see people die during the parry check is they always miss the first one. Um, but as long as you get the timing for the first one, getting the time for one of them down, uh, you're set. Even if you get, like, posture broken and take damage from the first one, don't panic. Just spam F. And you'll recover. At least that happens for me. A lot of times I see people die is because they panic and they start holding F, which is no good. You cannot hold F against that. And, or... They, uh, they just <laughs> don't parry. They don't spam F fast enough. Next, okay. We're going to fold this because none of the, all of it is necessary. Now we're looking for Gale Trap. Should come up. Nice. Um, none of this is useful, so I'm going to burn it. And we have all of our starter um, mantras. I forgot to explain this one. This one is hard. It's actually pretty hard if you panic. <laughs> I forgot to explain it. But um, what happens there is they introduce a monster, a megalodon, as well as a parry check. So I would say the biggest thing to focus for that one is focus on the parry check, okay? The parry check is the most important thing that you have to focus on. Because if you miss the parry check, it will posture break you. It will combo you. You will take a million damage. Hard that you kill it instantly. Yeah, that's the caveat. Um, people panic when they see it. But actually, that shark has very, very little HP. If you use a heavy weapon with no chains of perfection, no additional stats, it'll probably take you like six hits to kill it. With no... No, Providence Thorns is not AoE. It probably takes you six hits to hit, to kill it with no extra damage at all. Um, as long as you can get those hits in. And in order to get those hits in, you cannot be posture broken. Which means you cannot fail the parry check and you cannot get kicked. The kick is also the second, like, the most dangerous thing as well. I think the kick is the most dangerous thing, but it doesn't happen that often. So you... Only have to be slightly aware of it. The parry check comes at a timer, so you have to be ready to parry it. So what I like to do is I like to parry um, the first parry check before I do anything. And sometimes the Megalodon will strike at you afterwards while your parry is down. But that's fine, because it doesn't do that much damage. Like, you can take, like, 12 of those swipes before you die, as long as you parry the parry checks. And as if you swipe, do a trade with the Megalodon, every time it hits you and you hit it back... You take the damage, you'll win eventually. As long as you parry the parry checks. And dodge the kick. Part of the Thorns is only... Um, it it only re it basically reflects damage to the user. It isn't um, AoE. But yeah, so... I killed it really fast because I have Providence Thorns. But um, even if I didn't, it wouldn't take me that long to kill it. If you have Mantras... For instance, me. Like, if you have Tornado there, right? I could have placed, right before it spawned, I could have placed this Tornado down. And then just parried the first parry trick. And honestly, it would have died after, like, one swipe. 
it either would have died to the tornado immediately or I, it dies to one swipe. So it, it's not too bad. I would say that trial is probably one of the easiest. Um, in terms of like... It's the, it's the, it causes the most panic because there's so much going on, but actually like passing it is simp is fast and simple. Just don't panic. The other mobs, like they do a lot of damage and they can mix up their moves, you know? I'm really trying to keep up. <laughs> don't worry. I don't expect anyone to pass it, pass it in the first try or even soon. To, yeah, I have a battle axe, so let me just equip this. Because I accidentally spawned with it. But let me show you how this works on humanoid mobs. It's actually super broken against humanoid mobs. Against the monsters, it's not that useful. Or not as good. But um, it still does good damage. 20 damage in M1. And this one does 18. So 2 extra damage. You get to posture break. Sword can posture break, but it's pretty unreliable. It probably takes like two solid hits uh, to posture break with the crit. What would you say the pass fail rate of this class is? Um, the pass is... It, the, the class is infinite, you know? You can be in the class as long as you want. So technically, 100% pass rate. Really think about it. Hello, Lamo Octopus. Or is it Lamo? 100% damn, you never had a student like me. Hey, you guys are all in this class, and you guys will all pass eventually. So I'm going to sacrifice my damage right now by showing how to use a heavy weapon. I would say if it's your first time playing. Uh, when I first started playing, I used the light weapon because I was able to combo enemies into the into like trees and stuff. Or perma combo enemies into walls. Um, which is a strategy. If you push an NPC into a wall and you just spam combo them with a light weapon, they will get like... There's a good chance they'll get perma combo and you can just keep spamming M1. So that's what I did. But actually, I think I learned that it gave me really bad habits to like start greeting for hits. So I would actually recommend a heavy weapon for your first time playing. What game is this? This is called Deep Oaken. Now let me aggro one of these guys. So how this works is you'll have to learn how to parry trade. So let me just parry this guy. Oh, I just lagged. So you can see the strike. Honestly, um, one of the in-game indicators of that um, him about to striking is uh, at the tip of his sword, you can see a little star twinkle. And um, honestly, it's like so unreactable to me when I see the star twinkle, so I don't use it. I just use his animation. Or you just get into a rhythm of it. So you can just learn how to parry like this. So when he crits or faints an attack, I do a roll cancel. Or if I just miss my parry, I just do a roll cancel. Sometimes, um, if you're getting hit, you just have to sacrifice the hits. Um, like, don't panic. Don't try to put up your, your um, block because sometimes you'll get posture broken and you'll take more hits than you need to. So sometimes if I miss a parry, I'll just take a hit to get back into the rhythm, to reset my rhythm. You'll see me do that sometimes. So once you get the hang of parrying, uh, you start learning how to parry trade. So what parry trading is, is that you get a parry and then you strike. And then usually you give them time to the strike and then you just trade it. And you never greed for more than one hit. See, so yeah, I took that hit there, but I just take it. You don't put your block up immediately. So when he gets posture broken, you just go for another hit. I reacted late there because I was too busy focusing on like talking. But when he bleeds like that, you usually can get a free hit in. Now what's good, this is like for any generic or parry trading. 
What's good about Heavy Weapon is that they have a posture breaking crit, which means if you land it, it's almost guaranteed a posture break. So you can mix this up in your parry trades. So just use it, spam it off cooldown. You almost always get a hit in. And it's a pretty low cooldown too. See, look, I get a free hit. And then it's up again. So usually every other hit is a crit. Sometimes they parry it and you just have to be ready for that as well. Yeah, the NPCs are pretty good at like rolling now. Before you could just like infinite combo them and they would never like, now they like start cutting back a little bit. And this is me greeting for more hits. But I'm that's only because I'm confident. If you're not confident, you just go for go for your one. Any faints or crits, you you have to roll away or roll cancel or else you'll get hit. But again, if you get hit, don't panic. Just um, take the hit and then get ready for the next one. The scariest mobs are always the light weapon mobs. This is a light weapon mob. I guess I can showcase that one. Let me get my battle axe. <laughs> These guys are the same. Mantras will always do a lot of damage. So I would say if you're also starting off. Um, if you don't want to learn how to parry that well, or if you want to just start getting into the game immediately, just go with mage build so you don't have to focus on parrying and learn how to kite. So let me sh just show him how you fight with light weapon first. Light weapon is the same thing. You have to take, you have to be prepared to take hits. Like there's honestly, I feel like there's no way you're going to parry everything. Even I can't parry every single attack on a light weapon user, um, NPC. Sometimes you just have to take the hits, and then they don't do that much damage most of the time. Just be prepared to take four hits in a row before you um, can parry again. So I'm going to hit him. See, I just took like four hits. I'm going to wait. This, you can parry. Just spam F. I'm going to parry trade him. See, I get hit here. I'm just going to take it. And then when he slows down, I'll get ready to parry again. And then you can also make sure to do your crits here. This is a unique mob that summons other mobs. Um, they also do light weapon or they're also light weapon users. <laughs> this is honestly the first mob you should practice parry trading on because um, they do very little damage. So you can actually like you won't get punished. I have to kill this one. Yeah, just spam crit and then uh, he'll eventually die. See, I just I just took a hit there because I missed my parry. I just take the hit. I only lost, like I lost twenty five percent of my HP. But don't panic, okay? See, I'm about to take more hits. I'm just gonna start dodging and reset, and then get ready to parry his next move. I got took the hit there. I took the hit first hit because I wasn't ready for it, and then I parried his second hit because I was getting prepared for that one. So I'm taking hits here, I'm waiting for him to hit me away. I just take the damage. Get ready to parry his next hit. If you're confident um, with parrying, you can. Uh, if you get one hit in, you can greed for a couple hits on NPCs. So when I said that two only don't greed for more than two hits, um, that's like mostly for monsters. But for NPCs, you can greed for a few more. Uh, depending on their posture, I would say for like the, like light weapon mobs, like these ones where they don't, aren't using like a big ax or something, uh, you can greed for a few hits cause they don't have a lot of posture. So they, you can posture break them quite easily. And also if they're up against the wall, it's better as well. 
because knocking someone into a wall makes them dazed and then makes them like not be able to roll so um it's like pretty easy to hit them and kill them or combo them okay he hit me from behind I don't know what's up with light weapon or wind, but whenever I use wind, these enemies start attacking me from behind. <laughs> Yippee. We love Woken of the Deep. Hello, Taco. I love Deep Woken. This is an elite mob. I don't know how to parry this guy when he's striking. Like, I can't parry him. <laughs> because he's facing the wrong way. The thing about parrying is uh, you, you get less end lag if you successfully hit a parry. But since he doesn't hit my parry sometimes, I like miss up my timing. One day you'll bring back the old crew of Remix and Swag, right? <laughs> the Deep Woken or, or Omega Strikers? Hey, get swag back on Deep Woken to PH. Remix, Remix still plays Deep Woken, but he only grinds like one boss. I see him on like every now and then. I think he just got back on recently. Hey, there's going to be a huge Deep Woken update and I'm making everyone play. This guy also has Providence Thorns. Dude, <laughs> what is this AI now? I can't tell if it's hitting me or not. Oh my god, I'm see. I parry. I try to parry his first attack, but he basically is fainting it because I'm not getting the end lag cancel. Swag gets on um, the cues of OS every now and then. Otherwise, TFT. Whoa. Yeah, Remix is retired. I'm also retired. I play every now and then, but <laughs> not too much. Hmm. This kind of sucks, so we're gonna reroll that. I've seen Remix on the Gotcha channel of the main OS chord. What the hell? <laughs> what is Remix doing in the Gotcha channel? Like, like, is it like Waifu Bot or is it like he just talks about Gotcha games? Is it the Blue Archive? Um, Crash Bun Reality. Slow debuffs removed. Oh, he just talks about it? For some reason, I was thinking of, like, the waifu bot. You know, you guys know... What's the waifu bot's name? Oh, fuck. I, I'm blanking. Oh, my God, I can't clip through this. Mood, mood I. Whenever I think of Gacha Channel, I think of that. <laughs> yeah, these ones are all... Um... Oh my god. These AIs are fucked up. I can't, man. Do I parry or not? He's facing the wrong way. How am I going to get my Providence Thorn stacks if he's not facing me? Oh 
guy I lagged. Oh my god. The move I was ready to parry he turned away. These AIs are too advanced for me now. It gave me a little girl for my first waifu and never again. A little girl? I mean, there's probably a lot of little girls in that bot. I remember me and my IRL server were so, like, um, invested in it. We were, like, trying to compete with, uh, to see who could get the most. Or, like, the all the top tier, like, high pricing waifus. Like, I don't know, like, two, not a 2B. What's the girl from, uh, what's that anime? Darling in the Franks? Zero two, yeah. <laughs> Never watched it. She was like the highest one at the time, and like Rem, and I don't even know who else. All I was trying to get were my Hatsune Miku and like the my VTubers. Why is this guy here? I actually might die to this guy. Okay. Okay, low key. The NPCs, these are the, like the elite mobs, and then the NPCs moving is really difficult to keep track of. <laughs> Who are your top five waifus? I don't really, I'm not really a waifu guy. Chika from Gotobun. When I was a... Uh... Back in my, you know, back in the day when I was start, first started becoming a weeb and stuff, I liked, um, I really liked Onodera from, Niji, I almost said Niji Sanji, Nisei Koi. But honestly, like, I'm gonna be real, a lot of the waifus I have or have had, I, I just did it because I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to fit in with the weebs and be like, I, I have a waifu. I would say my favorite girls. I mean, my, my favorite, my type has always been short hair, bob cut short hair, you know what I mean? Or uneven haircut. So like, I wouldn't call them my waifu, but I did like, um, you know, Onodera, Alice from Shokugeki. Uh, I liked Tsubaki from Soul Eater. Uh... I'm I'm blanking on their names, but I like the girl from Real Life, the main girl. I liked the girl from Tomo-chan that's not Tomo-chan. <laughs> that type. Waifu FOMO. Yeah, back when I was starting with Weeb. It's my friend. My friend's waifu was like they you know, they my friends all had waifus and I was like a I would I would say I'm a pretty I'm a pretty fresh weeb. <laughs> <laughs> um because i didn't start liking anime until like late in my life and you know they all liked like <laughs> they had like rem and like saber from uh from fate freaking i don't know who else were they they like i don't even remember it's so long Rindo from Sh Shokugeki. Yeah, oh yeah, my friend did like Rin Rindo. I forgot about her. I liked her. I thought she was cute, but I like Alice in terms of appearance better. Who's the cake girl? Oh, I like Greya from... um, What's it called? I forgot what series she's in, but you know, Greya Grand Blue. I was born into weebness. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what cake girl is. Talk about. I mean, she she like worked in a pastry, or uh, like a bakery, pastry rest place with her parents. I mean, I watched anime as a kid, but I, I was like, it didn't take until like, 
middle school before I realized that like anime is like Japanese. You know what I mean? I'm freaking in a Virginia server. Fighting a freaking angel of all things. Imagine I die here. That'd be crazy. Yeah, Code Lyoko and Avatar is a young thing. I didn't even... I watched a little bit of Avatar on TV, but I didn't, like, really watch that much. I mean, I, I liked it, what I watched, but, you know. When you're young, you don't really watch things sequentially or chronologically. You just watch whatever's on TV. But I watch, like, um, like Bleach and Naruto on TV. You know, Toonami. Dragon Ball. Teen Titans was made in America, but they have a lot of Japanese influence. Like, the the creators wanted it to be Japanese, like like anime. So I've heard. Hi hi puffy ami yumi. Yeah, I did watch a bit of that. Not that much though. Yeah, I watched like, um, I was also sort of a manga reader. Like, I thought that it was just cool. It was like comic, like anime and manga were like comic books to me back in the day. So they weren't like, you know, I didn't know they were Japanese, even though I li watched it in Japanese. Um, I think the first real anime I watched was Soul Eater. Like, actually, no. I think in middle school, I was like, I started finding out about Japan. <laughs> so, um, and I was like, wait, anime goes hard. Like, I didn't know this was not an American, a normal, quote unquote, normal thing. And I also didn't know it wasn't an American thing, quote unquote, like per se. Um, and then, so I heard a lot about anime and I watched some Dragon Ball on TV, but I was like, you know, Dragon Ball is like the poster boy of anime. Um... Back in the day. Even now, I would consider Dragon Ball to still be a poster boy of anime. So I started watching Dragon Ball Z um, on like Dragon Ball Z, free Dragon Ball episodes .com. Um, I did watch Naruto, you know, the Dar Naruto part one, part two, part three on YouTube. But that was, uh, that was just because I liked it. Yeah, I never watched Sailor Moon. There are a lot of shows I have not watched. I didn't touch Full Metal or Cowboy Bebop. I, I didn't touch Full Metal until like high school, late high school. And that was the original. I watched the original. I didn't watch. I've never watched Brotherhood. Shout out to the Scholastic Book Fair. Dude, I, I had a Borders. RIP Borders. That was my... That was me though, cause like occasionally after school, my parents would drop me off at Borders, and then I would just like go to the manga section and read like Death Note and Naruto. But yeah, I started watching Dragon Ball Z in in, in a middle. I watched Dragon Ball first. This is the first time I actually like, watched an anime sequentially, or like chronologically. And um, yeah, I watched Dragon Ball. Uh. I, I previously, I did keep up with like Bleach and Naruto, but I, I read the mangas. So Dragon Ball was technically the first anime that I watched like chronologically. And then after that, it was, um, Soul Eater and then Code Geass. This is like my first, I would say like the prime anime for me back in the day. Plus watch Brotherhood. I just made Prowler watch it. I mean, I know it's good. I, I hear so much about it, but like, I, I just never feel compelled to watch it because I I like watched the original and I was like, you know, I like the original. How, how much better could it really be? It's my copium. <laughs> Borders salute. 
Satch Bell was my formative anime. Soul Eater was definitely my formative anime. Into becoming a weeb. I remember um, when I was in middle school, I had like a group of friends, like two, two of my buddies. And then we watched... We didn't watch Soul Eater together, but we all had a deep found love for Soul Eater. And then we would all like RP, not really RP, but we would like kin assign characters to ourselves. So like one of them was like Death the Kid, like really like Death the Kid. One of my friends really liked Soul. And then I really liked Stein. <laughs> OG had to be made up after a certain point, LOL. Oh yeah. I did like Brotherhood though. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, not Brotherhood, sorry. I really like the original, Full Metal. Um, yeah. I liked, I liked it so much that I eventually, um, I remember when I played Gaia online, I made like an RP character, basically, for Stein. It actually, I'm not gonna lie, looked pretty sick. Before, before Roblox RPing, I had Gaia online RPing. I like RP'd as a uh, Udakora from Bleach, and then I RP'd as um, Stein from Soul Eater. All right, guys, I'm gonna do some PvP. Yeah, now look at me. I've been saying that Roblox is becoming the new Gaia Online because back, even back in the day, Gaia Online had a lot of like copyrighted, pretty much parody. Uh, like you could like RP in the outfits and stuff. Um, and now, like they're not even blatant. They're not even like subtle about it. They're pretty blatant with cosmetics because there's if you don't know in Gaia Online, you can like upload. If you can pay like a supposedly you can pay like a two hundred dollars to upload your your like custom item that you made. And then they'll put it in the shop for you to sell. Stuff like that. And then like people just upload straight up just like... I don't know. Like... Uh, what's a popular anime? Like Jujutsu Kaisen Gojo <laughs> outfit. Or Makima outfit. Something like that. It's crazy. Alright, I am not good with this build by the way. So we're just going to do this. We're going to pop this. I'm not good with this build. Let me throw my pots. Hold on. Now his, he's out of mana. I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna pre oh, I popped the prediction, which uh count does a counter. Bombs, okay. I'm freaking running out of posture. It's so laggy. I swear. I can't, I cannot parry in this ping. <laughs> Why are there no auto parry frames on that? It's so weird. I'm dead. Is guy really swinging? Yeah, I'm like so... It's like so laggy. I don't know. It just feels so slow. Oh. He's like dying to my uh thing. 
Did a lot of three hit chains. Yeah. I just could not parry. The pink has been pretty bad so far for this stream. Not sure why. Yeah, I had the Udakora cosplay. It looked exactly like it. It's crazy how accurate you can make it look. Thing is, like, this build actually, like, hurts my wrist. Because I have to press so many buttons. Like, I have to press this. Refreshing it. <laughs> Bombs. Popping a potion. Oh, he's getting his mantras back. Okay, now he's it's gone. But I have mine my mana still. That's so bad. <laughs> it's so cheese. I feel like being a weapon would make it easier if you had Mega Stress in your Meister. Does the guillotine guy? Oh yeah, that was kind of awesome. <laughs> Honestly, this build is so cheese. The thing about the potions build is that like you're so vulnerable when you're throwing potions that you have to play so safe. So I just like it's like so so bad. But honestly, I feel like there's so many builds that are cheese that at some point I just gotta stop coping about it. So we're gonna pop this. If he runs away, I can just pop a heal pot.
It's so actually so OP. My keyboard, my freaking hand hurts from like pressing so many abilities though. He runs like I just heal. <laughs> I'm not gonna say GG. <laughs> he actually had the counter. So um this this thing lets me throw a potion that depletes mana forever. It's like a long ass time, it's so broken. And it affects myself, obviously, so I have to space it correctly in which it hits him only. And if you just touch, like, one part of it, it disables your mana for, like, 30 seconds. So it's, like, so crazy. Um, but he actually brought a counter. You can counter this by eating a fruit. And he brought it because it's, like, kind of getting kind of meta. <laughs> and I just threw another one at him because I have two. It's so crazy. I guess re I just realized I, I can also bring the fruit to counter to like as an antidote for myself. He has mana again? Oh, I guess we're getting our mana back. How did I not hit him in there? Oh, I cut it off. He hit me from through that. I don't know how I'm not hitting him, honestly, sometimes. I died. Hold up. Pause. They come back. <laughs> uh, I should have abused my potions a little bit more. I was like, I was actually surprised because I'm a light weapon, but he's a heavy weapon. And um, I thought I could hit him like more often, but um, like in between his hits, but I was not hitting him. He's getting his attacks up faster than I was expecting for a heavy weapon. Gangplank moment, yeah. Well, it's different fruits, so different fruits change different effects, so... Uh, I don't have any Calabash, actually.
god. That thing does so much damage, what the hell? See how insane it is to like... I'm bad. <laughs> Died to burn. Damn. Dude, it actually like freaking hurts my wrist because you have um with this build, I'm thinking of like replacing some some potions or some slots. So um sorry I have to focus up. I live with one HP so often. Um With this build, I have, so you have 10 slots, you know, one for every number on your keyboard. But um, what the thing is here is I have a million things to press, right? So I have one slot for my bombs. I have nine spells, nine spells, which I use like pretty much try to use every single one. Prediction is the only one I don't use, which uh, lets you counter an attack and reflect the damage back. Like actually, I like never use this, um, even though I have like three talents for it because I've just... I'm not familiar, not good with practice. And I have iron bombs. I'm thinking of replacing these, but I have it so I could throw people, throw it at people whenever um we run out of mana, you know? Because this is something I could use when I have no mana. And it does a decent amount of damage, not too much. And but on top of all of that, I have three of these potions, which is up here. And if I want to use these, I have to like go into my inventory and press it and then I have to if I want to use this one I have to press it and then th like point my arrow or my um point my mouse at something it's like so it, it hurts my hand actually to play this okay I'm picking up all these rocks so I'm thinking of moving some stuff around because and moving my potions down here It's like so many things to keep track of it. It like hurts my brain to do sometimes. Anyway, got a mine because uh, I'm running out of bombs. Also, I'm not really good with this weapon. I don't really use light weapons that often, even though I have so many builds with it. <laughs> so I think I used to using this crit. It's like, I want to, I feel like I'm just naturally a, a heavy weapon user and I like to get in people's faces and like attack them, but uh, it gets harder because it's hard for light weapon or it's weird because light weapon is also you, you get in someone's face and try to get really up and close. But then this character, this uh, play style, I have to like step back and, and like pop my potions and get ready to use them, which is kind of counterintuitive. But it's an RP build, you know, it's not supposed to be extremely meta, even though potions are really good. 
Let me some more bombs. But yeah, I hope you, uh, thank you for stopping by, Dista. Yeah, these, definitely not an enjoyable way to fight. The Mana Disable is actually so OP, and I feel so scummy using it sometimes. It, it feels, okay, when I accidentally walk into it myself, it's, it feels fine. But when I use it, when <laughs> I only hit the enemy with it, it's like so, it feels so scummy. More, more deep dun ye dun de dup de dun. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about the title. I'm not even running the dungeon. Hello, Bonnie. Here's my iron. I'm actually surprised how much, how many bombs I use in one fight. Anyway. Hope it's going been going well. Honestly, I feel like I've not done much <laughs> this stream. Did a tutorial and then went to PvP. Because my PvP timer is reset. And I'm PvPing again. I accidentally hit my pig when I was feeding them. I hit him again. My bad. My bad, pigs. Yeah, so this is my main build, which is a uh, less cheesy IMO. Let's see if I can do well on this one. This is my main build because I just like the stuff thematically. I don't know how good it is. I don't think it's that good of a... care like a character i have like no meta builds i have one meta build actually but um quote unquote meta uh, i don't really use it Wow, he blocked. Holy fuck, this guy's comboing me. Nice. You parried that. Just keep getting my insanity off. Whoa! 
Oh, I got hit by that. Oh yeah, that's a combo. Put a spear at him. Oh yeah. I didn't I don't know how he instantly died. <laughs> Dude, this move is so good. I love this move. It's like a it's so slow, so they always like mess up the break or the, the block and it also at least posture breaks them. And then it leads into like so many things. My favorite move in the game right now. What? Get me out of here. Oh no. I'm in a freaking uh, Virginia server. Honestly, my ping is not that bad, actually. Oh no. I just thought it was not ready for this, though. Nah, this ping is not good. All right, Pia. Virginia likes you, apparently. No. How did I... That was like an instant match into a Virginia server, too. That was quick. Yeah, it does a million damage. It didn't help because uh, he plays a build that also silences spells. And I didn't prepare myself. Because usually I have to do my whole setup before we start the round. Oh, this is worse. No. Somehow my Washington ping is worse than my Virginia ping. Yeah, this is the my the worst thing of, about this game is just the ping. I don't even know if I have a, an extra life. I don't know how leaving works. Ah, uh, I lost my life. R.I.P. Alright, back to the OG. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with my ping this serve this today though. Hello, Champions of the Abyss. Cannot believe that they shadow patched the nerf. 
or the nerfing the stealth immediately. Oh. Looks like someone cleared it out. I need XP. Oh, it's one here. What the fuck? What the? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Get me ping. You were getting too strong. They had to stop you. I know. After that good game, and I got put into two bad ping games immediately. Sag. I don't know. Even my Cali ping. Like usually, I get like sixty ping. That's good. 60 ping, ping doesn't even feel amazing. This is like the best I could ever get. I know, just curse to always play these like terrible ping games. Okay, next I think I go into intelligence. Resuming this build. And I have to do math. Dude, math is crazy. Look at this. What is that? Oh. Negative 219 plus negative. It's time too. You have to do it in a certain amount of time. I have to do this until I get to 90 intelligence. So. Oh, I feel like, thank you. This shit is like so crazy. I feel like my math is actually getting so much better because of this. <laughs> um, uh, I have to train my intelligence. Okay. Here's reinforce. I think I need these. Well, guys, let's keep doing math. Negative 294 divided by negative 370 is 0.79. This is like 1200. This is like negative three almost. This is, I'm out of XP. This is like negative 1.5. Um, 12 times, this is like negative 1300. No, I got it wrong. Oh, what the fuck these guys want? I don't know, I feel like every every other patch, these guys are bugged somehow, even though I feel like nothing has really changed about them. They still have the bug where if you like aggro them and then de-aggro them, they like spawn above the building. I can't get my Providence Thorns procs because I can't parry them when they're striking away from me. Anyway, it's going to take a while for us to get to... Um, 90 intelligence. When I was progressing my salt chemist build, which uses 80 intelligence, it took me forever to grind all the way to 90 intelligence or 80 intelligence. Even though I was like killing like the boss, the ferryman on that build, it did take a long time to kill him though. Um, still, I was killing him, and it took me, it was like, 
I don't know. Like every boss that I did at like level 12 would give me like three, three intelligence, which is very little. Times plus. Uh, this should be. Okay. Nice. Got an immortal helm. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. Honestly, I'm really liking the Providence Thorns, though. I was not expecting it to do so much damage. I mean, I knew it did a lot of damage, but like... To, for it to like three shot mobs when when I like don't hit them at all beforehand, it's kind of crazy. Oops, that's supposed to be negative. It's bugged. Minus is positive. This minus. I could do the ferryman already, honestly. Yeah, honestly, it's a pretty boring grind because I have to do this math textbook for so long. Plus is 84. Here we go. Level up. Exciting. Um, do I need this? I don't know if I do. Not sure what this talents. I don't need this. Burn. Um. I guess we go ether absorption. Ooh, all of these are kind of bad. I guess this one's not bad. Roll two. Not just scaling. Yeah, what is like best? Oh wait, I was not supposed to use this. Cancel. Spark glance or gale stone? I don't have any.
I have none. Your dad is a biscuit because you're a baker? My dad is a biscuit? What do you like, Gordon Ramsay? Anyway, I guess we'll wait for these mobs to spawn again. And then we'll check up on the, the pigs. I was wrong, so it was not. Aren't you using like a translator? No? Who's the one using a translator? I swear. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I wonder how live translations work um, with different voices. Google's actually pretty good at it. If you ever, you guys ever use like the Google Translate button when you're for conversations, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I feel like honestly, the translations are never like 100% accurate and always grammatically incorrect, but I feel like they're it's really useful for getting the message across if you're ever traveling. I've live translated for some friends before. Oh my god. Oh, that's different. You're you're a pro. You know what's crazy is that it's like 2024, we have so much AI stuff, but we don't have like sometimes I want to like read manga or like read webtoons in the raw form. And there's like no, there's like no good app that will like translate your screen for you. Cause Google translate has like an, a, an option where you can like upload an image and then it'll translate everything in that image to English or whatever, or whatever language you want. But I need a, I need a program that translates like the thing I'm reading, the website I'm reading or images to English. You were the Bisocho. That makes somehow less sense. <laughs> that may be because the AI people are focused on usurping artists. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Those AI people are not even real people. They didn't like make the AI. They just use it. Let's not, let's not call these AI people, they're, like, they're not smart. <laughs> I think the people who made AI is smart, but the people who use it, the AI artists who use it are... <laughs> you guys see the Minion ad, or the Minions ad that they played during, like, the Super Bowl or whatever? Kind of awesome. The superb hole? Yeah, the superb hole. Alright, I'm gonna try to... What if I just like... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. What if I like block this, right? I feed all of these. I feed all these guys. And then I drag all the babies into the hole. Or whatever. Or more. I feel like we're... He hitting what's it called when you hit like the maximum or something the critical the critical something any mathers any math knowers the critical the critical points the critical the critical mass we're hitting the critical mass of how many pigs are inside of this like breeding chamber up there so we don't honestly don't need any more pigs wait, i got an idea i got an idea okay see. I'm, I'm gonna break this wait first i'm gonna finish feeding all of these because there's actually a lot that I missed. Crit value, Minecraft math, but the critical mass in layman's like just the the max the maximum point where um 
how many pigs we have in that breeding pen are like less it's like less effective the more that there are you know what i mean okay let's let's break this we're gonna make this like that okay hold on i need to get this slab down here okay pigs over here pigs come here all the pigs please come over here Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, boom. Place that. Okay. Pigs. Okay, baby pigs. I need all the baby pigs over here. Here we go. Do they know how to jump? They don't know how to jump up. Wait. Is it critical mass the minimum? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know. Oh, it is the minimum. Well, in theory, <laughs> I didn't know that either. Yeah, I had no clue. I didn't even know it was a nuclear thing. Gotta make a conveyor belt for them. I thought they they would be able to jump up here. Can they not jump up this block? I guess I gotta. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna drag them all back here. Oh, okay. Now they want to jump up. Now they want. Okay, when I'm gone, they want to jump up. What the hell? See these pigs like flying? I Me. Mean, okay, get out! Get over here, guys! Come over here! No! There we go. Okay, but. Wait. Oh, wait, no, I have to break one of them. So we're going to break this one, and then we'll place... Oh! Goodbye, pig. Okay, now they should be able to get up. They're flying! How are they jumping so high? Okay, hopefully the pigs can pathfind towards me. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go up here. Hopefully don't jump off while I'm doing it. Here we go. Come up here. Come over here, little piggies. Into the hole. Are all you guys into the hole? You guys have to fall down. At what time do you pass the bread, handsome? What the? <laughs> like what? Like eat dinner? Maybe we need some trapdoors here. Hold on. Maybe I can place one right here. Uh maybe do Hmm. Maybe this. Oh, this lets me come up here too. It's actually kinda useful. Oh, I fell. I think that one was lost in translation. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not not quite sure. What time do I eat dinner? I don't know. Like around I, I tend to eat around 6 p.m. I'm kind of an early dinner guy. I'm kind of an early dinner because I don't really eat. It's like my first meal of the day. Kind of. First meal of the day type vibe. No hermano, no uso, uso traductor lo juro. No, isn't hermano brother? No, is that supposed to be use translator? What's lo juro? <laughs> Guys, what's lo juro? 
Answer is seven. <laughs> My three years of Spanish is not good enough to translate a simple sentence. Oh, Hudo, right. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Let's just say Spanish was sleepy time for me, for good, for little old Fred. Spanish class was sleepy hour. I barely passed that class, those classes, actually. I don't use a translator, I swear. Okay, can then explain to me what passing the bread means. Oh my god. The big pig is getting swept along. Not all of them are even making it. I wonder if them, some of them will get stuck in the... um. In this part. This half slab area. Wow, there's so many. I guess I could just kill them if they grow up. My God, these are way more than last time. Oh my. They just keep coming. Oh god! I fell in two. <laughs> Help! I'm in the cage! I'm in the cage! Yeah, I can get out of here. This just might take a minute. Can I like... Sh no, I can't crouch on these. Maybe I can. Which I don't remember which side the uh, trap door is on. This is like one of those factory, like workplace factory accidents where like the guy gets stuck in the, in the, in the whatever. Like accidentally puts his hand in the sawmill. Okay. Problem is now. I have to get rid of some of these guys. You have to die. How am I not hitting this guy's hitbox? To break this one. From what I gather from hit native. Wait. There's more? Get out of here. I guess that's a place to lower. I thought it could have, like, climbed up. Because, you know, with ladders, you can, like, use a trap door as a ladder. Um, But I guess vines don't count. What? All right. <laughs> Wait, how is it? How can I still not climb up here? That's actually crazy. Do I have wood on me? Okay. My last ditch effort now. Oh, wait, I have scaffolding. What? Wait, we are so back. Can I place this? Okay, here. Can I place this here? I have to place it on the top side. My axe is going to break at this rate. Hey, 
Okay, place this here. Scaffolding. Scaffolding. Um. No. No shot. How does this still... How am I still not able to... Place this here? <laughs> it's doomed. <laughs> okay. I placed this on the bottom, like, luckily. I'm getting launched by the pigs. Okay, we do this. Then we have to somehow interact with this trap door. <laughs> All right, you know what? Old fashioned way. <laughs> why did we make it up why didn't i just do that at the first place this is what i get for trying to be smart about it i'm not even gonna bother picking this thing up you could just done that all along Maybe. Maybe I could have. Are you still playing deep? Deep is taking too long, Fanny. I have to train my intelligence. You guys, you want to do see me train my intelligence? This is an off-stream grind. Look at this. California. I think you are naturally very intelligent. No, I'm a I'm a con. I'm a monkey. All right. Math textbook. Okay. 272.4 divided by negative 382.5. Quick. Quick chat. Got it wrong. Maybe we can all go back to Ch Spanish class. Okay, 702.5 divided by negative 70, neg negative 911.2. It's too late. We lost, lost, lost time. Okay, um, one, 151.8 plus negative 20, 924.4. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Negative 194.8 times negative 645 is positive something. Isn't this a kid's game? What the heck? Maybe. Oh, he died. If the American system has forced me to take Japanese, you could take Span. You're forced to take Japanese in America? We weren't even offered it in school. Uh. Hello? Negative zero. I choose it because it was that or French. In school, we were offered Spanish, French, or Mandarin. And then later, they offered started offering Korean. But at that point, I was like graduating. So I couldn't take Korean if I wanted to. I took Spanish because it was like the most useful because California, there's like a lot of Spanish speakers and also the easiest. But what ended up happening is I didn't really pay attention during class anyway. So like it was pointless.
I guess I guess I wouldn't have passed if it wasn't Spanish, because <laughs> Spanish is so easy compared to French and Chinese. I feel like or Mandarin. I can read Weibo posts for the fan arts. How much could you really read, though? I don't think they're gonna teach you Weibo how to read Weibo posts in Mandarin one. Spanish, French, German, Japanese. Damn. I want to take Japanese. Uh, Watashi wa America jin desu. Um, uh, Watashi o namae wa afraid desu. <laughs> and now this is this is when you guys go, ah, ah, Nihongo, Nihongo Jozu. Right? I have to take two foreign languages for my stuff. Damn, we only have to take one. I feel like sometimes people don't even have to take any. Well, if you want to graduate high school, I think you didn't have to um, take a language. But if you wanted to go to college, like the, co the universities and stuff required you to take a language for three years. I think for other schools around my area, you didn't have to take it at all for um for high school. Whoa. Hitting my limit of inventory space. I take Spanish because you could cheat online that way. Wait, why? What makes Spanish easy to cheat online and not the other ones? French teacher had an actual teacher. Oh, it's just the teacher thing. I cheated a lot in school, to be honest. You guys know I had a strat. Oh my god. I was not the best student, as you could tell from me sleeping. But I had... This is one time I, I cheated on a test by wearing... <laughs> I realized that teachers like don't really like check at least back then they didn't really check um like oh my god i got a legendary weapon in this they didn't really like check up for like headphones or anything like that you know so like i never did this but i felt like an easy way to cheat back then was you just like put the answers or put notes and you make a recording of it or something right and then you put it in your, um, this guy's okay. You like put it in like earbuds or like your, your iPhone or like your iPod or whatever. And then you just play it. Um, like you just play an audio recording of the answers to the test. I only ever cheated once and failed. It was the only test I failed in that class. Nihongo Josu for you, I'm afraid. What? Je ne parle. Me with my fake French accent. Pas. Pas. I don't know how to say it. Pas. Espanol. Espanol. I cheated on my periodic table by writing them on my fingernails once. Yeah. So I didn't do it, but, um, I was like some classes, like when I'm like really tired, right. I'll just come to class and I'll be like in my hoodie. And then some teacher teachers are chill. Some will be like, take off your hoodie or whatever, you know, take off, put your hood down, put your hat off. But, um, some teachers don't really care. Cause like, I would like, occasionally I would come to, especially during the winter, I'd be like really groggy and tired. So I would just show up to class in a, in a hoodie with my hood up. And then, yeah, like I could like wear earbuds. Sometimes I would like straight up listen to music um during class because i just have like earbuds in 
with my hoodie over it. And then um I also had uh at some point I don't if you guys didn't know, I can't hear out of my right ear, which makes it really hard for like games like Valorant because I need directional hearing. Um so yeah, uh I at some point we tried to like fix it and then get I tried to get I was offered like hearing aid and I tried using hearing aid for like a month and then I stopped using it because I was too lazy. But uh, the, how the hearing aid works is it's just it's just a really expensive Bluetooth earbud, wireless earbud. Um, I guess it was advanced back in the day, supposedly, maybe. But it straight up was just a wireless earbud. And then I could just like, I could straight up play music from my phone um, through it. <laughs> so that's another way I could have cheated. And it would have been like medically okay too. If I wanted to, but I had never put in the effort to cheat. Um, like in that instance. The reason I didn't keep using hearing aids was because um, I'm only deaf in one ear and it was really awkward because, you know, when you're, if you've ever used like AirPods or something, um, there's like a, a mic on the AirPods that like, gets the surrounding sound and then puts it into your ears so you can hear like your surroundings while having earbuds inside of you as inside of your ears as well but um it's weird because i would hear that like artificial audio through one ear and then i would hear like the, the natural audio through my left ear and then it would be really really odd like it was like so weird to me i just like it almost made me wish i was deaf in both ears or almost deaf in both ears so that i could hear through both or I could have like either wear both earbuds or wear none, you know? So that's a reason why I didn't really use it. But um, yeah, going back to the test I cheated on, I once cheated on a test because I had a hoodie on and then I would like put my, I was like the type of person to always like rest my head on my desk and that type of stuff. So what I would do sometimes, I, I discovered I could cheat in a way um, by putting my head down on my desk with my hoodie up and then I would, Put my phone inside of like my hoodie pouch not my hoodie pouch but that area on my in my stomach and then i would stick my head in to my hoodie like a little turtle and then just like go on my phone <laughs> modern hearing aids are a lot a little more smaller yeah the hearing aids i had weren't that bad visually but it's like this wasn't worth it I would have my hood on and people would tell me I look like a school shooter. <laughs> what? That's crazy. I mean, I probably look like a school shooter too. I'm just, I was just Asian. I think, I think having your hood on was normal at my school. Yep, I definitely cheated a lot, quite a bit. Well, I didn't really cheat that much, actually. I never felt the need to cheat, um, because I usually just take the L. I'm like the type of guy who like usually takes the L, but for that test specifically, I don't know why I cheated. I think I cheated just because I could, and even then, I didn't even cheat that much because. Um, it was hard to Google all the answers. It's hard to type when it's hard to type in class when you're taking a test. I need a megalodon tide. It's so crazy that schools have AI detection for assignments now. Yeah, I heard the AI detection for cheating is bad too. Like it sucks. I mean. Even when I was in school, we had like the turn it in that would put you give you like twenty percent plagiarism for having ands ifs and ands and that's ands these and that's boom twenty percent plagiarism. That thing sucked. Also, turn it in sucks too because I felt like even if you did have like plagiarize, which Honestly, I felt like I probably did. And intentionally or not. Um, it's like so easy to just change up the wording of... Um, 
of like stuff you're reading. When papers never had that much plagiarism from Turnitin. Yeah, maybe it's an exaggeration. It did it sometimes. I remember it before it did it sometimes. But um, the worst part is that it would count like so much plagiarism for quotations, like direct quotations, too. I had an, an assignment get flagged once when I wrote an entire thing in class. Damn. What? Where'd he go? Um, negative 46. Oh, that was negative. Oh, wait, I got it right. Oh, no, I didn't. It's supposed to be negative. Trash. Apparently, I need ether conduit. So. Eureka! I mostly just hated peer reviewing other people's because like I've read MTL Yaoi with better grammar and punctuation. I hated peer. I, I just was not a good crit critique. Like all I did was correct grammar. Yeah, but like when it came to like thoughts and pros like opinions and stuff and like how well you describe an argument like it's like something i never really cared to, sh to tell people to do you know like it's like what am i gonna tell them like oh you should have done you should have explained it like this like i don't know i don't know enough to tell you i didn't care about the paper enough yeah that too I, I think it's like always been just a sort of like unwritten agreement between peer reviews that like you just put a positive review no matter what, right? <laughs> like correct grammar and that's it at most and spelling and then everything else is just just say whatever. Goodbye Mitsue. Well, I still need like 50 more intelligence. I also need like 55 charisma, I think. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Okay, this is pretty much done once I get all of my fucking intelligence up. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, pure reviews. Yeah. But I felt like I did plagiarize a lot. I mean, often often in school when I'm like writing reports and stuff or essays, I just like li straight up just like look up, find a few, I don't know, like articles or something or other essays that I've seen people write. And this is probably plagi plagiarism, but at the time I just say whatever, you know, you just do what you got to do. <laughs> and I feel like I just searched stuff up and then found a sentence that I liked that like supported my argument and then I would just like straight up th go to the, the thor like the thesaurus you know and just be like okay what's a synonym of like I don't know um procedure <laughs> like didn't everyone do that I I feel like it's so easy to bypass the plagiarism detector by doing that
Oh my god, I'm s why am I so bad at, <laughs> at this? Are you running into a wall? I'm doing a clip. So I can get to these guys without getting detected. This this AI thing only ever happens when I'm using uh wind. It's so weird. The turn around. Yeah, it's uh I just like you could do it's called roll clipping. You can like roll clip through walls. Yeah, because sometimes they like it looks like they're gonna miss completely and then they do like an instant 180 and then hit me. Oh shit. How did I get detected by these guys? Just gets hit so I can take this loot. I think I saw something pretty good in that chest. I don't I didn't get a like uh, close look. I'm getting hit. Nice. 13 health, 8% monster armor. Not bad. Too bad that this sh stealth shit is like useless now. 6% damage versus monsters. No, how do they detect me? I just realized another reason I probably like did so much damage to those early game mobs or like that trial mobs is because. I'm wearing a bunch of like really good equipment that is extra damage to monsters. I don't know why, but that like. Kung Fu fight. Everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. stuck in my head. Oh my god. You know, one of my favorite games to play So uh, on the Xbox was... I forgot what it was called. It was like this uh, it's like really fun co-op story game, kind of. It was like a co-op story platform 3D, 3D fighting game. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, I forgot what it was called. It was like... It was like a bunch of Asian Kung Fu shit. And then they were like, what was it called? I remember they, like, they played Everybody Loves Kung Fu Fighting um, in that game. And it was so awesome. I think it was like a bunch of Kung Fu artists, like, filming a movie. And then it was Asian Kung Fu Xbox game. Oh my god, Kung Fu Chaos. Has anyone ever heard of this game? No? Guys, they don't make games like these anymore. This game was so fun. Like, actually, like, such a fun party game. Let me just search up some videos. So, yeah, it's basically a four-player thing where uh, I think it's team team play. Why is this not loading? Hello? It's like a co-op game, and then, like, you're basically introduced with, like, a bunch of waves of enemies, and then you, like, fight them together with your friends. And I think there was PvP. There's PvP at some point too but it's like so silly they don't make games like these
I realize Kung Fu fighting. The star will fight. Mysterious plan of ninja. So there's a story, a story part right here. So stop he, he's like a film director. You going to bathroom now? We haven't even shot first scene though. <laughs> Probably like low key racist, but I don't know who knows. They didn't make games like this again. Yeah, so you gotta like knock people off of the, the stage. And then the stars give you like powers ish or give you or is it just winning? I'm not sure. God, this gives me such a huge wave of nostalgia. There's like a bunch of different characters. I don't know if they're different. Why is this the most replayed? Oh, you go to the... Yeah, this is a story. So you're like on a platform. There's a bunch of monsters that come down. Or like ninjas. And then just like gotta knock them off while like playing around with the map. And I just remember crushing like these watermelons with my attacks. Going down and crushing these. Did they do it? I thought they hit it. I feel like there are also mini games. I remember every time my cousins would come over, we would play this game. Something so satisfying about kicking like the freaking lobster on the ground or kicking a box. The hit sounds just feel- sound awesome. I remember it's so- this part is so hard because like if your fucking toe touches the water or something you'll die. <laughs> you just got knocked over and thrown off. Oh this guy's getting destroyed. Yeah, awesome game. Let's see the replies. I always preferred this to Smash Bros. This game is so underrated. Yeah, I do have a lot of good memories. I was an Xbox kid. Everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> Fast as lightning. Mini, mini, me, me. Little bit bright bell. He saw this garbage. I think I probably had. I didn't know I didn't have a face accessory or a cape. Probably should have kept one, a good one. Guess we'll equip a shield. Whoa, lag. Xbox. Para cuando su only fans, huh? Now it's getting weird. Oh, OnlyFans? You can go to my throne that I had not updated. You know, I got a notification that um throne like that the things that I put on my throne just for funsies are like uh out of stock or something and the somehow the little garfield thing i put there is out of stock <laughs> the little garfield guy the one that looks like he's been so fucked up 
I did not think that that thing would give you that of all things would be out of stock. You know, maybe maybe it's a hot commodity. Throne. I don't have a throne command. Whoa, that guy could have stolen my loot. He logged out. I feel like I should not. I feel like I should be going to 80 willpower right now. Hmm. I guess not. Bow, 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 bow. We can level up again. Doesn't even matter because my like, it's like not good talents to get. You're gonna get stuck in my head now. Everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. You don't even have your throne linked. <laughs> really? I don't. I thought I put it, added it. Perfect flash. I mean, full ether. Yes. What the? Go enjoy your Garfield when it gets back in stock. What the heck? EK. You go. Thank you for the thirty doll. What the? I don't even want it that bad. I put it on there for funsies. I don't even know how much it costs. Oh my god. This guy. Oh my god. Thank you for the thirty dollars. Hey, I could have bought that with with yesterday's money. You do not have to send stuff. Yeah, I don't know what to get. Jeez, you have to get the Garfield now? Wait, it's out of stock. I have to find a different one, I guess. He vented me. Well, why don't you show us? Hold on. Let me use up my XP. All these are spawned. Yeah, I actually might hit 90 by the end of the stream. But I still need 80 more, 30 more willpower. Um... I usually never get detected by these guys, but for some reason I am now. Like really, apparently, apparently really apparent. Apparently, a really apparent and obvious. Normally, I can just like kill these guys by being stealth. Forty-two, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I love doing math. Maybe a good cape. I 
It's 22.94 and the other item on your throne is unavailable. Oh, the, yeah, I got the email. There was like that and like the, I think it was a capture card or something. Honestly, capture card is not too important though, because I don't really, I haven't really played on my Switch for a long time. But, uh, I guess if I did play on my Switch, I would play Attempt maybe Smash or, or Tears of the Kingdom. It's been a minute since I played Smash. I did play kind of recently when I was on my trip, but I played like one game and then I lost. <laughs> I haven't played in forever. Nintendo makes you pay for online. Yeah, I think I just, I think I just steal my friend's family plan and he just pays for it. Uh, all of this kind of sucks. Let's I'll take this. I accidentally freaking interacted with my book, so I'm gonna be stuck here in this animation for a while. Be mindful of your words. With what words? Smash? I've not played Smash in a minute. No, about the things you want? Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, I said I don't want it because I have not played on my Switch in a while. I remember I bought Splatoon 3 and I played it for like a week. I think that's the last thing I like really did with my Switch. I remember playing with like Sei and Maya and Chie on stream for a bit it's actually pretty fun it's my first time playing splatoon but um yeah i don't know i just can't be bothered to play on the switch i just wish there were pc games the whole time i was just wishing there was a pc game when we were also playing um what's it called pokemon unite i was like damn this would be so fun if it was a pc game and then i like downloaded like blue stacks and i just played when chie asked to play like pokemon unite i would just be like okay Gets on blue stacks when I have my switch next to me, and then plays on blue stacks using PC like mouse <laughs> controls. Splatoon looks so fun to play. Have you played it? It's actually it's very mind off, but I don't like the rank system. Yeah, I actually played Pokemon Unite on PC because I, you know, it just feels so much better. Oops, didn't mean to do that one. It's impossible when both of them are hitting me f doing reverse attacks. Oh my god. Whoa. Don't know which one to go for. Oh, I killed one. He's juking me. They play... You know, they, they kind of kite, like, similar to how the angels do. But the only difference is that these guys... The angels seem like they have, like, shift lock on. Which is, like, you know, follows your mouse around. These monsters... Or these NPCs play like they are, don't have shift lock on. Like when they're kiting, they look like they're doing this. <laughs> I didn't know NPCs could have shift lock. Do you think Nintendo will ever retire, like retire the Switch, like their older stuff? Um, I don't know about. Re they definitely will retire it eventually. But they said that they wanted to make it last a long time, right? Aren't they, like, making a Switch 2? I feel like I heard something about, like, the Switch 2 eventually. Oh my 
god. I've not been able to parry a single hit from this guy because he just turns around every time he hits. <laughs> Okay, let's... Oh, I lost my tornado. Okay, this guy should be low. I parried him like... There we go. Okay, while this guy is chasing me... Oh, these guys spawned again. Damn, they die so fast. Usually take me forever to kill them. With no weapon stat. I have to do this with every build now. Ow, my armor. Or my posture. Okay, this guy's gotta be dead soon. Tornado? Cancelled it. He parried my Providence Thorns attack. There we go. Holy. Watch this. I'm going to kill him with my math, math textbook. Okay. This is a... Uh, 1800. Um, oh, somehow I didn't aggro this guy when I walked by him. Oh, now I aggro him. Math is so deadly. It's funny because you can like grip people using anything you want in your hand. Okay, I'm dying. He's gotta be dead soon. There we go. And this guy should be spawned. Let's see if I can execute this body using uh the NPC or the, the megalodon. It's an electric one. No. I need a megalodon high from this guy. Coral? What? That's way rarer than a hide. I need a hide so I can make a a, a glider. All right, what should I kill him? This guy with? Let's kill him with the. Uh... Hmm. I have to kill people with a dumbbell. I think it looks silly. Imagine a person where their main weapon is a dumbbell. Has anyone been reading Sakamoto Days? It's actually so awesome. I just caught up like uh, maybe last week-ish. This past week. Holy, it's actually so good. At first, I thought it was like silly, you know, slice of life type vibe, but it's actually like shonen as fuck. It's so good. I highly recommend if you like shonen. It kind of gives me like the art and everything kind of gives me like Hunter Hunter vibes. I don't know why. I think it's just Nagumo. It reminds me of um, just the guy from Hunter Hunter. <laughs> I don't know. Just the same vibes. Are you caught up? Yeah, I'm caught up. It just gets better. It keeps getting better. The last like, couple chapters were crazy.
Yeah, so sick. Highly recommend everyone read. It's not even that... It's like 100, less than 100 chapters right now. I don't know, I forgot how much. Yeah, really good. Are you reading Kagura Bachi? No. I was gonna read it after all that whole like meme thing. But um I know just never got around to it because it's like it's not easily accessible at the time. I probably could read it now though. Cause uh, I used Tachiyomi and Tachiyomi's like was having like was struggling for a long while. Yeah, the Shonen Jump app. I was thinking of like, I've been thinking about getting a subscription to Shonen Jump because there's like so many Shonens I want to catch up to. I started reading, I'm starting to read One Piece again, catching up. I'm like chapter 157-ish right now. Um, So right after Wano arc ended is when I stopped because uh, it took a, hi a small hiatus. So I just didn't feel like reading anymore. Um, But now I feel like catching up to, you know, I want to catch up to like Jujutsu. I want to catch up to... Um, what's it called? I want to catch up to the Jujutsu. I want to catch up to my hero. I want to catch up to, like, um, One Piece. And then maybe read Kaguya Bachi. I want to catch up with the Chainsaw Man. Stuff like that. Yeah, you only have a limited... Yeah, you have, like, 100 chapters or so, right? Yeah. Some of those are definitely worth catching up to. Yeah. I definitely... I think my priority right now is I want to catch up to One Piece and My Hero. Because I did like Jujutsu... I mean, Jujutsu Kaisen is like kind of crazy right now, so I, I, it appears. But I get spoiled like all the time for Jujutsu. It's crazy on Twitter. Like, I don't even follow Jujutsu Kaisen. If I was like, it's time. I got to stop getting myself spoiled. I need to read this so I don't get spoiled anymore. But uh, my hero is ending soon, so I want to catch up to that. And I, I feel like when I read Jujutsu, or My Hero Academia, it had so much potential still. And uh, I know everyone calls it like mid hero academia or whatever, <laughs> but um, I actually like the story that it was going after. Well, I don't know how to describe it after the second training arc. You know when, spoiler alert, they reintroduce like Shinso or whatever, like. Or I stopped around that time only because I stopped like kind of keeping up with shonens. But even at that time, I was like pretty excited for the coming chapters and everything that was going on. So I want to catch up. Definitely want to catch up to my hero. Um, Chainsaw Man, I see so much of. You know, I want to catch up to that. And yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen is the only one where I stopped reading because I didn't like it or didn't really like what was going on. I liked Jujutsu Kaisen up until the Shibuya arc, and then if you know about the time skip, I don't know where the anime is right now, but at the time skip in the manga, um, I like, I really did not like the time skip. I felt like everything was so rushed at that time. It felt, it just felt so rushed. I mean, I know it's a time skip, but like so much happened during the time skip that I just wish was described, like wish was shown in depth. Old blonde worker, office worker man. Yeah, that guy's from the anime though. That's like, that's like peak. When the old office worker man is introduced in the anime, that's that's peak. That's where peak Jujutsu is. <laughs> I 
Everything past that is like, eh. Well, I didn't read that much past Shibuya arc because um, there was I was caught up at that time. So I don't know. I hear so much. I hope it's better. Pretty sure I'm spoiled on what happens to him though. Yeah. I was crazy. It was crazy though, because I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen has so much potential. I mean, it still does. Everyone loves Jujutsu Kaisen. Definitely like beloved. But I don't know. I remember reading it a long time ago because my friend recommended it to me, I think. And then I was like, damn, this is like the next Naruto. Like for real. Because I remember I read it back in like, I don't know, like 2017 ish. And I was like, even then it was like still pretty popular among like manga readers. And I was like, damn, this is like the next Naruto. Because I remember reading it and I was like, this. The start was so good. It was like incredible. And then the, like as I kept re reading, it was like everything was so hype and all the characters were so good and I liked everybody. Gojo was awesome. You know, I like Yuji. I like the story. Um, but I don't know. Hot take, but I think it fell, fell off. It fell off just as much as like Naruto did. So maybe it really was like the next Naruto. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I like Naruto too though. <laughs> Definitely not bad, just um, not perfect. I'm only reading Jujutsu Kaisen because it's there. I'm not hyped on it as much as Sakamoto Days. Yeah, Sakamoto Days has a slower start, and it but like all the characters are awesome. I love all the characters. It really like pushes. A normal like it's supposed to be like realistic quote unquote but it like really pushes it to the max <laughs> not really realistic it's like silly shonen it's just john wick baroza has entered his shibuden arc and uh it kind of slaps honestly i heard a lot about shibuden but uh, like i i don't know the start doesn't really compel me that much I don't like how the characters ended up from Naruto. Oh, I meant Boruto, not Naruto. Oh, wait, what was I saying? Well, I like Naruto. I didn't really... At the end of Naruto's manga, which I, I did finish Naruto, um, or I was keeping up when it was airing or running like i was keeping up uh, up until the end and honestly the whole end of that anime or manga was like a just a clusterfuck <laughs> so much happening but uh i mean it wasn't too bad it was like i would say the ending was mid like literally not not bad not good um yeah Another one I couldn't really get into was uh, Black Clover. Black Clover, I like the cl the characters look cool. And the story kind of is interesting. But it's a little bit. But Asta... I didn't really like the characters that much. I, I didn't like Asta. I wish she was toned down a little bit. I, I don't know how he gets later in the manga or anime. But I know people... It's like really hit or miss for Black Clover. Feel about Bleach too? I just kept up with Bleach too up until I took the hiatus. I remember I dropped Bleach back in like 2015, um, because I stopped reading all like shonen or so stopped reading manga. I used to be like a really big manga reader back in the when I was a kid, and then when as I grew older, I like, um, I stopped like when I started becoming a weeb. I stopped reading manga, started watching anime, but I didn't like watching shonen anime because of filler and everything felt so slow. So I dropped, I stopped reading Attack on Titan, I stopped reading One Piece, I stopped reading Bleach, I stopped reading Naruto, and started watching like other fucking anime. <laughs> and um, yeah, when I ended in Bleach at the time, you know, it was 2015 or so, 
was the start of the Quincy War, like the final Quincy War. And I was like, and it's been so long since I started reading that. And then, and then I hear that um, the Thousand Blood War for Bleach started airing like last year, right? And I was like, oh, you know, where where's the anime or the manga for Bleach now? And then someone was like telling me, I was like, oh, it's like at the Quincy War. I'm like, what? It's been like, it's been like eight years since I last read it. It's that fairy tale level IMO. I think I finished fairy tale too. I'm not sure if I finished it actually, but I I read a good amount of fairy tale. But yeah, it's like fairy tale is also kind of mid. It's like something I read it because I'm I have nothing else. Didn't really like. I don't think it was that good. <laughs> I got a good iron cestus here, so I gotta bank that. I think the mongos continue some light novels. Oh, what the heck? That's weird. Let's keep this and this. I think Bleach is ending with the anime now. Yeah, it was on hiatus. I didn't know it was on hiatus, but it was on hiatus for a really long time. Oh, that guy's getting fucked up. All right, it's time to train some willpower for a while. I still need the one Megalodon hide from this guy. Oh my god, I'm fighting all three at once. No! The JoJo's are a fun read. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not caught up with JoJo, but I did read chapter one of the um the new one when it came out. I think Shonen Jun Shonen Jump has all of them. Damn. Oh, he's not dropping a Megalodon hide. Are you caught up with Jojo or like the parts at least? I'm waiting until uh, it's like a monthly read. So like and it just started. So I'm like not really keeping up with it. I'll probably like binge it every now and then. 
I don't know how far it's gone. It's probably been like almost, almost a year since it's like been public or publishing. I think. Oh, don't know if you like Marshall. Oh, Marshall's over. I got recommended to watch Marshall. Um, quite a few times, <laughs> but um, yeah. I, I feel like it is something I would like, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. I totally forgot about it. Maybe I should read it um soon. I read the next few JoJo's. What's the next few? Up to part eight. Oh. Yeah, part seven is my favorite. Oh, next few since like after the anime. I get it. Steel Ball Run. Yeah, part seven. I think part seven is my favorite. My favorite part, my favorite JoJo is. I used to say Joseph, but honestly, I kind of like uh, part eight's. I, I really like part eight's JoJo. Josuke. Or Gappy. I like him because he's like a himbo. Part eight is weird, man. It is quite weird. <laughs> it's because it's supposed to be like a remake of, um, not really remake, but like a reimagining of part four, right? So, and part four is like a murder mystery episodic thing. I think part four has always kind of been like conflicting within like people who like JoJo too. I mean, I, I know the community really likes part four, but like when it comes to like normal fans, like sometimes people don't like part four because of the episodic, like weird murder mystery nature. It's the most confusing. Yeah, it gets really confusing at the end for sure. I remember because like it was running for like for like four years or something and they never introduced the main antagonist and then they introduced the main antagonist towards the end and like and then it wraps up in like 10 chapters or something like that. It's like the ending was the weakest. I I, I will I will like honestly, I think that JoJo like the win the endings are always wacky and barely makes any sense <laughs> for all for every JoJo part. It's like so crazy what happens. Yeah, but I do like I like Josuke a lot cuz I like himbos. <laughs> and he is definitely a himbo. And he's like also gay, self-sessed. Spoiler. <laughs> it's funny. All right, I think I'm probably going to wrap up the stream the moment I finish like this last set of mobs because I am getting tired and hungry and I want to watch something while I continue this grind and I'll probably finish this by tomorrow. Not going to lie. Oh, shit. We'll see. I need this guy to this other guy to cook up his a new build because my plans just got ruined. <laughs> I had my plans got changed twice back and forth because the build got nerfed so i really want to complete that dungeon solo somehow and i don't want to think of it myself thank you for the follow elm fruits reaching the end of stream there we go So now we will go prayer beads, one more level. Um, 
Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll just try to cook something up normally. But I, I don't know. We'll have to see how it works now. Because apparently you aggro every mob. I think if I get smoke screen, you know the thing that saved me the first time that you guys watched me play, right? To like drop all aggro of mobs. I don't think that's nerfed yet. So if I get that, it might still be winnable. But it's hard to it's hard to guarantee an like a a bell or ultimate ability like that. Hmm. All right, so I have to do a few things. I have to get to level 80 or 80 willpower, reroll a talent, and then also and then go to the depths afterwards. So it's a lot of stuff we have to do left. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Um probably just gonna I guess we could find someone to raid. Let's see who's streaming. I still think I had a megalodon hide. Someone probably someone hmm. Tree Clover. I'm thinking it's farming time. Games plus demos. Clover was in my stream. Now I get to be in Clover's stream. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching. Anyway, um, yeah, tomorrow I'll try to. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe might as well play Minecraft. Go back to Minecraft so I can see. You know, gotta feed these pigs again. Oh god, I'm getting chased by freaking assassins. <laughs> yeah, um, thank you, Dongus. Thank you, Yugo. Thank you. Ah! Thank you, Acer. Ah! Ah, thank you, Bonnie. I gotta kill these guys. <laughs> Music fight. Gather around. Awesome. There we go. Yep. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll probably try to... We'll see how many pigs I get. I'll try to feed as many as I can so we can skip through all the waiting, breeding, pig timing <laughs> of the current stream. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how many pigs we can get. We also have to wait for a thunderstorm, though. So that's the also a big issue. Where's this last guy? Is he inside? What the hell? Okay, let's get him. Alright. I hope you guys have a good time at Clover's room. I'll just be here watching and uh, 